good morning, everyone. Hello there. Yep, I've got Joe here. <laughs> Joe is telling me that he needs one hand on him at all times. Hi. Hi. Did you say hi to everybody? Hello there. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, he's still he's still a little clingy. Yesterday, he was very clingy. Today, I know we're starting off clingy still, but he had a good breakfast, so I know that uh, I know his digestion is working well. But yeah, he's just he's just a little clingy today. That's all right. I know you can sit right by me the whole sale. Yes, we're gonna have fun. And uh, I'm going to say hello to Jen and Sarah Lee. Hello there. Hi, Susical. Hello, Jamie. And <laughs> I like Susical. The invisible people. Hello to the invisible people. Thank you for joining me. It's okay. Not everyone has to say hello in the chats. It's just nice to have you here. So thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> And Joe, of course. And Joe. <laughs> and hello, Katie. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hi, Susan. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes he is he is still the baby. And sometimes he just acts still like a little baby. <laughs> but that's all right. Most of the time he's sweet. Sometimes, yeah, he wants to play. What? I know. That's my hand. That's my hand. And sometimes the girls don't want to play, but he's got lots of toys around so he can play with his toys. Yep. <laughs> so I hope everyone is having a nice morning. Um, it We're back to beautiful weather here. Yesterday it was a little cloudy, rained a little bit. It was a little... A little cool in the upper 60s but today we're supposed to be right back into um i don't know 70s i think he is let's see how old is joe well he must be turning five i think five yeah that sounds about right so, yeah, I think he's turning five this summer. And uh, that would mean Faye is six because they are one year apart. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so nice. A siesta after a swim. Lovely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I... um. I have got some really fun things to um, show off today. Um, also, I brought some fabric. Um, a few of the pieces are kind of like last look at these pieces. I've got about enough fabric for one more sale. One more. And then, believe it or not, we have gone through all of the fabric in those six ginormous boxes. It's hard to believe. Hello, Cindy. Uh, so I will probably have a box that is non-Christmas and I'm gonna try to get all the Christmas stuff into one box, all the unclaimed Christmas. And then, well, I don't know what we'll be bringing to the live sales. Um, I know I gotta, I gotta go back and do some thrifting. I got to, uh, get caught up on some shipping. Hopefully I've got my fingers crossed that the contractors show up and paint today. That is my, that is my hope. Um, gives them time this morning to go run and get the paint and get it all shook up and ready to go. Uh, hello, Gina. Hello there. And hello, DM. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, yeah, so that is what I hope is going to be happening today. Um, what else? Well, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow at this time, 
Jen Eads, myself, and Kim from Oh My Vintage will be having a sale, two sales on Wednesday, Wednesday double sale. Hello, Jolita. Uh, so yeah, that, that will start half an hour earlier at 11 a.m. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Mm. But just on this side, that's the one side that started tickling. Um, yeah, so be sure and join us tomorrow. And I think, yeah, I think today is the day that Kim has her sale. So it's just once a month, uh, but she should be having her sale at, I want to say 4.30 Eastern time, somewhere right in there. Um, I think that's when Kim is having her sale. So uh, yeah, so stop by and say hi to her because I think yesterday was her birthday. So be sure and uh, wish her a happy birthday. And thank you so much, DM, for putting the links in. So yeah, you know, if you are not getting reminders for the live sales, here's another trick you can do to, uh, to try to get the reminders for the live sales. So DM, put the link in. If you click on that link, there'll be a little button that says uh, notify me click on the notify me button and you will get an email notification from YouTube as soon as uh, we go live. So that is another way. If you're finding you're not getting uh, all the notifications you should, when you see a reminder pop up, um, click notify me and, um, and that might help. That might help get one more notification to you. Uh, so yeah, so try that little trick. We're always trying to find the tricks to uh, have YouTube work for us a little better. <laughs> so that's one that might help. And oh, Jolita, your arm is better, but it's sore. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, I hope it... I'm glad you can at least move it. But yeah, that was a very unfortunate accident that happened. Um, let's see. Anything else I need to mention? Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the sale because I have got some great things. Um, I just want to put a reminder out there that um, during my vlogs, so every day or every other day, kind of depending on the, the level of content that I have. But if I do it every day, um, every day I put out a vlog. And in the vlog, um, I talk about live sale purchases. Um, so I kind of divide up my little work table to show what sold and what is still available. Well, at the suggestion of a couple of people, and thank you for the suggestion, I have now started including um, prices with the items that haven't sold. So if you watch my vlog and you watch the breakdown of what sold and what's still available, um, you'll have the prices of what is uh, for the items still available. If you are interested in purchasing any of those items, you can uh, put a comment down below on the video or um, you can send me a separate email. You know, my email, sandyandauto at comcast.net. So yeah, so even though the sale is over, um, take a look at the table and take a look at the items that are still available. And if anything is of interest to you, if you have questions on anything, hey, feel free again to use the comments or uh, send me an email. And thank you so much, DM, for putting in all the links for everything. I appreciate that so much. And hello, Amy. Nice to see you. Um, all right. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and get started with the sale. And oh, nope, we're not because my nose is still tickling. There, that should make the tickle go away. <laughs> okay, first item is going to start at $3. Now, 
you're probably going to look at this and go, okay, but I'm not a Seahawks fan. Yeah, this is a little, a little football, a little sea hockey. However, this bracelet has got some great beads. And if you want to refabricate it and take out the football stuff, uh, you're still going to end up with an awesome bracelet. So I just want to throw that out there just in case. Again, not everyone is a football fan. Hello, LaDonna. Not everyone is a Seahawks fan. This has got some great rhinestone and glass beads, little metal spacers um, to use for any kind of crafting. Look at this one all full of the Aurora Borealis rhinestones. Oh, that one is so awesome. And we've got this beautiful blue one, the kind of yellowy lime green, great spacers. And look at this one, all full of blue rhinestones. We've got that pretty one. So yeah, even if you are not a football fan, this has got some fantastic beads on it. Repurpose them, use them for your other projects, but these are awesome. So again, a great selection full of beautiful rhinestone beads. So that one, just $3. It is a stretchy band. It goes on very easily. And then it just rolls off. I'm going to roll it off. It's a little easier on those. So again, that one, fantastic collection of beads. Repurpose them if you are not a football fan. Um, but you just might happen to have a Seahawks fan. Um, there are some in other places too. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you. But yeah, this is a beautiful selection, especially these Aurora Borealis ones. Those are great. And I'm going to count this down for Amy. So thank you, Amy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you. Okay, I've got another stretchy bracelet. This one is Easter themed. I couldn't leave it behind just because, you know, it's not Easter coming up. Um, I had to grab it. Hello, Kim. I was talking about you earlier and happy birthday, Kim. I know it was yesterday, but happy birthday, Kim. <laughs> so guys, don't forget Kim from Oh My Vintage is having a sale later today. And yes, Jen is having a sale later today. Also, um, I know DM put the links in and thank you so much, DM, for doing that. So this one, a little more Easter themed. It is also on a stretchy. Um, this one, it's a little, a little firmer stretchy, but it's still got lots of stretch to it. And hi, Jan. I can't remember if I said hello to Jan. So we're going to start at the bunny and we're going to take a little tour around and look at all of these great little Easter themed beads. So we've got some made out of glass. I think most of these are made out of glass. So beautiful egg shaped. Look at that little Millefiori right there. That one also, but a beautiful selection of, yes, more springtime colors. A little bit of Easter with the bunny, but you know what? You can like bunnies all year round. Again, these great kind of egg-shaped beads, beautiful glass beads. And again, if you want to repurpose this, 
into a different kind of bracelet. You want to take out those Millefiori ones and use them in a different way, then absolutely repurpose this. So it is $4 for the beautiful stretchy bracelet with glass beads, Millefiori beads, and the bunny. All right. Well, I will bring that back for the speed round. But if you think about it and you would like the bunny bracelet, you just let me know at any time. Okay. Another stretchy bracelet. This one is going to start at $5. Maybe. YouTube's thinking about it. I think I'm going to end up with an error and have to type that in again. Yep. Okay, here we go. Start at $5. Mm, nope, we might have another error here. Oh, there it goes. All right. So this one is ceramic beads. So beautiful ceramic beads. Oops, here we go. Let's turn it this way. So you can see that beautiful design. Then we've got black bead. Oh, maybe that one goes that way. I'm not sure. See another black bead. Here is another ceramic bead. These are beautiful beads. Try to get that floral design all around. There is another round one. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, this is a beautiful selection of beads. And again, if you want to repurpose these, absolutely do. They are beautiful. And then I think we're back here at the beginning with this one. Although I do think I've been showing these upside down. <laughs> there is that like a little that looks like a little bird right there on that one so nice floral design and another floral that one's got a cute little heart And, oh, that one's got a heart also. So, yeah, great variety of beads on that one. And I will count this down for Amy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Okay, yep, I've got more stretchies. After this, though, that'll be it for the stretchy bracelets. And then I do have some other jewelry, but we're starting off with all the stretchies. This one is also going to be for $5. And it has a little charm, like a little dragonfly charm on it. This one is done with uh, purples. So again, we've got some beautiful glass beads. We've got a beautiful rhinestone spacer. This one also a glass bead. A little metal bead. This one is plastic, but it is really a pretty light purple. Another rhinestone spacer. Another glass bead metal this one feels like glass thank you amy you're getting some great beads for crafting here that's a beautiful metal one here's another one with ooh, two different colors of rhinestones another metal another glass another rhinestone 
That one is plastic, metal, glass, another rhinestone, another beautiful glass, and we're back at the dragonfly. So yeah, that is an awesome grouping of beads. <laughs> That's awesome, Amy. So we're going to count this one down and I've got one more to show you. Going once, going twice, and yeah, beads are expensive, especially the glass and the rhinestone ones. So um, yeah, I am really happy to be able to, um, to, to have grabbed these at a good price and to offer them to you guys at a really good price. All right, so here is the last one. It's going to start at $5. Let's see, where are we going to start on this one so I'll know when we stop? I'm trying to find the one. Okay, oh, here's a little handbag. Here we go. That way I can show all of them. So we've got a cute little handbag charm with rhinestones. Black and white. So all of this you can see is black, red, and white. So this is another glass bead with the spacer. Oh, I'm so glad, Jolita. I am so glad. Another rhinestone. This one is plastic, just like that other one was. And Sarah Lee in for this one. Thank you, Sarah Lee. So yeah, a beautiful selection on this one, especially with those black and white and with a little bit of red, there's a rhinestone. Amy is in at six. Hello, Denise. But yeah, these ones have, um, these beads have a lot of raised flowers on them. Like even this one, it's raised a little bit. And on this one too. That red is raised. So there we're back at the little handbag. And Sarah Lee at seven. And then I'll show you here. You might be able to see on both of these that the it is raised a little bit on the glass or on the bead on the surface. Amy is at eight. Sarah Lee is out. Thank you so much, Sarah Lee. And we'll count this down for Amy. Going once, going twice, and sold to Amy. Thank you, Amy, and thank you, Sarah Lee. All right. Well, I came across a really fun variety of ties, a tie beanies. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if any of these are the boos. I don't think any of these are the boos. They are just the tie beanies, but they're really fun and a lot I haven't ever had before um, in the large size. So, we're going to go through them each. We're going to start them at $5. Um, I do think all of these have their tags on them. So that is awesome. And they are the larger, well, they're the, they're not the minis and they're not the bigs. They're the standard size. I'll say that like the regular size that you see. Um, so that puts them at about what, like the six inch size, I think. Let me see. Well, he's actually about eight inches, but I think on average, well, nope, actually on average, they are kind of big, <laughs> but they're the standard size that you normally see. So this one is Lips the Fish. And so again, they all have their little ear tags on them and they're in pretty good condition. 
So there is Lips. He's from 1999. And thank you, Jamie. We've got $5 on Lips. And in great condition. Hello, Anne-Marie. All right, great colors on him also. And we're going to count that down for Jamie. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jamie. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I know dogs love playing with these, but yeah, they weren't made for dogs to, to play with. I actually have to keep them away from Joe also because he loves playing with plush toys, but he puts holes in them because he carries them in his mouth, just like dogs do. And yeah, they end up with, um, with little holes and then the stuffing starts coming out. Um, yeah, so it's, it's one of those things you, you got to watch them with the pets because they love to play with them. All right. So this one is, um, oh, I haven't even seen, what is his name? Hang on. He's got the plastic cover. He's fancy. Um, he is Spunky. That's his name, Spunky. Let me get the oh come on come on i want to put the cover back on there we go all right so this one is spunky the cocker spaniel and so spunky's tag is in plastic here is his behind. Oh, that one says Spunky. Oh, I could have looked right there. He's from 1997. So 1997, Spunky, the Cocker Spaniel. And he is, again, these are all of the standard size. I know sometimes I have the minis, but this one is the standard size. And so we've got Oh, Joe Lita in for the Cocker Spaniel. I know, isn't he cute? I mean, he's got that little furrowed brow like the Cocker Spaniels do. <laughs> Thank you, Barb. Yep, his name is Spunky. <laughs> I know, and he, they've got the pretty little, you know, trying to trying to show that beautiful long, uh, long hair fur that they have on their ears. It is beautiful, beautiful. And we've got Barb in at six. So yeah, a lot of times I do these in groupings, um, but because so many of these I haven't had before, I'm going to do them individually this time. Uh, just to give everybody a, a chance on these, because I don't know if I'm going to ever find some of these again. They're they're um they're really cool and jolita is out thank you so we will count this down for barb going once going twice and sold to barb thank you barb and thank you jolita All right, I have got another, I think this is a puppy. So this one is going to start at $5. It is, it has a pink tag. It's part of the pinkies. And this one's name is Popsicle. And it is all pink around little pink ears but that looks like a little dog to me dark pink tail dark pink on the pads 
and almost like a little, I don't know, like a cross between like a chenille and a terry cloth right there for the fur. Super cute. Part of the pinkies. Got a cute little pink bow around. And yeah, I don't, I didn't know there was a pinkies, but you know, I like the pink. So <laughs> thank you, Joe Lita. I'm going to have to look a little more into the pinkies because I'm liking that. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to count this one down for Joe Lita. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jolita. Thank you. <laughs> Barbie's dog. Yeah, kind of, right? Barbie has so many pink things. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Next up. I have a horse. I have a horse named Marshall. So there is Marshall. Again, Marshall has his ear tag. Marshall is from 2004. So, wow, he's almost 20 years old. He's got a great mane and a fantastic little tail. And he is like a very creamy ivory color, really pretty ivory. And oh, thank you, Jolita. So yeah, there's his cute little face, his little dark brown hooves. Super cute. All right, and we are going to count this one down. Oh, so we've got Jan coming in, but we do already have Jolita, Jan. So let me know if you would like to come in higher. Oh, Jan is at seven. Thank you. There, try to give his tail a little comb out. And Jolita is at nine. And Jan is at 10. So his name is Marshall. He is from 2004. Jolita is out. Thank you, Jolita. And we're going to count this down for Jan. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jan. Thank you, Jan. And thank you, Jolita. All right, so I had an Easter bracelet earlier. Uh, now I'm going to have a St. Patrick's bear. But I couldn't leave him behind because he's so darn cute. So, yep, he is more of the traditional Thai bear. But if you don't have him yet for your St. Patrick's display... Now is the time to grab him. He is from 2001, and his name is Clover. And we've got Jolita at five. Hello, Marion. And he has a cute little bow tie. And he does have clovers all over him. 
Oh, DM at six and Jan at seven. Got a cute little tail. DM is out. Thank you, DM. And my leg is falling asleep. <laughs> Jolita is at 10. <laughs> See if I can get it to wake up. Change positions. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> okay, I can start to feel some feeling coming back in my toes. All right, so we've got Jan at 11. <laughs> oh, I had a feeling I was sitting a little funny without realizing I was sitting funny, but yeah. Yeah, then my, my leg starts falling asleep. Joe Lita is at 12. I don't think since I've been sitting over here, I think that is the first time that has ever happened. That is wild. Jan is at 13. And he is in great condition. Look at the cute little green on his feet and on his hands too. He's got that cute little green. Yeah, the tingling is. <laughs> Especially when the, the blood starts circulating again. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Jolita is out. Thank you, Jolita. And we're going to count this down for Jan. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Jan. Thank you, Jan. And thank you, Jolita. Ooh, I think my pen might be running out of ink, too. What a day. Okay, so this is a piece of fabric uh, that I've had before. I want to... Um, I'm going to give it one more chance just because I'm showing some fabrics. Um, so this is a project piece from Daisy Kingdom. I don't think anyone is going to be interested in making the project piece. So I know that, um, not going to come as a surprise to anyone. It's, it's an odd project, um, very nineties, but the fabric that's in here is really good. So that's why I want to offer it again. So what this is for is to make this little top here. And actually, I think, well, maybe it's the whole thing. It might be the whole thing. But no, it's just for tops. It's all for tops. Okay, nope, it's all just tops. But if you like doing small projects, especially for Christmas, where you need just a little bit of fabric. This has got some fantastic fabric for it. So this whole panel here, it's going to be just $4. I have several of these available. So that's why I'm thinking outside the box, what can you use this fabric for? So I'm going to show all of them and show you that there is great fabric here. So we've got plaid, and a Santa. We've got this one here, this lovely green that has Santa and a star on it. Over here, we've got the Santa Noel. There, I'm going to flip it over. And then we can have the same plaid, but a different little santa on it and over here we've got more of the ho 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 santa noel and then another piece of that great green fabric so again think outside the box nobody's going to be making this pattern really anytime soon however this is some great christmas fabric for small projects um, it is kind of on a smaller scale, 
So it works really well size-wise for smaller projects. So again, think about that. I've got a whole bunch of this. Um, so if you come across something, maybe not today, uh, but maybe in your travels, you come across something really cool on YouTube, Pinterest, and you're like, oh, I wish I had some small Christmas fabric. There you go. When you just need a little bit of fabric to do a really cool project. And again, I've got a bunch of these and they are going to be just $4 each. And just saying, now is a great time to buy these because when people really start getting into Christmas crafting, um, then hopefully they'll fly. They may not fly, but, um, but yeah, think about it and feel free to contact me, you know, in a week from now, in a month from now, whenever you're thinking of that project. Um, so my next one here is a full pattern and it is for making a reindeer. So it's going to start at $7.00. And I'm going to open it up and show you that we've got the reindeer face here. We've got antlers. We've got parts of the um, body. We've got more antlers because he's kind of a plush. So you can stuff him. We've got ears and tails and body. Legs. We got lots of legs and all the little pieces you will need for this cute little reindeer. And little hearts also. Little stars for decoration. This one is the bow. So he's got a cute little bow around him. So again, everything you need to make a reindeer out of this fabric. And that is $7 for the reindeer. Whew. Okay, that really got the thread flying. Okay, now my next item, it's not, it's not a complete anything, but it is a really cool piece of fabric. Again, this is for, probably for use as another, as another project than what its original intent is. So at the end of a bolt or in between um in between there's like this really weird stitch that they do in order to continue the fabric like they get to one end they stitch things together and then that starts the next that's what happened to this piece um, but it is amazing so originally it is a quilted project for a Christmas tree skirt. It is Cherished Teddies. And I'll show you here. Cherished Teddies tree skirt or tablecloth. Now, I do have this pattern, just not quilted. This one is the quilted. It does have the batting already in it. So it really just needs a back on it. It's already quilted, but I just have one half and it does have that funky stitch through it, uh, which is why I'm going to do this for just $5 because there are great parts to this. So let's see. So it goes this way and I'll show you right here is that funky stitch that they do right in between where one ends and the next one begins. So this one has got that stitch all the way through it. Now, yes, you can use this for a tree skirt. 
You absolutely could. I just want to point out it's got that funky stitch through it. So there you go. There it is. But this one also has all the quilt batting already sewn onto it. And it is an adorable pattern. So I'm going to start here and show it. So if you wanted to use this, maybe for a pillow, maybe you want to cut the little teddies out and make little plush ornaments out of them, that would be really cute. Plus, you get these little bonus ones right here in the corner. You get those little bonus. So still lots of really good usable uh, fabric in this one. But that one is $5. And, you know, I think it would be cute. You could totally cut this little guy out and turn him into an ornament. You could do the same with like the little light post, turn that into an ornament. Yeah, there's a lot of really good projects you can make with that. So that one again, $5 for that one. All right, so we're gonna go back to some jewelry. And, oops, I got to write myself a note of something I keep forgetting that just popped into my head again. So <laughs> that's how it works sometimes. <laughs> Let your subconscious try to try to do some stuff for you. All right, so I have a bracelet here. We're going to start this one at $2. So this is a silver tone bracelet. And it has some really cute little black beads on it. I know with just random things popping into your head. Yeah. <laughs> at odd times. Absolutely. All right, so this is a nine inch. I'm gonna say, depending on your size, this could be a bracelet, it could be an anklet because it is nine inches. So that is a nice generous size. I'm gonna put it on here. Yes, I can just slip that over my hand because I have extremely small hands and very small wrists. So I usually bring things out right about here to show on a typical wrist, this is how it is going to fit. Right about like this, still a little roomy. So if you have larger wrists or like to wear your bracelets down your arm just a little bit, maybe not right up here, you like to wear your bracelets right about here, you still have a lot of room on this one. Or depending, again, um, if you can wear a nine inch anklet, this could work for you as an anklet also. So it's got those five really cute little black beads. Three of them have little white dots on them. And this one is just $2, $2 for the bracelet slash anklet. <coughs> Okay, then I have a, I think this one is Cookie Lee. Double check that. Yeah, this one is a Cookie Lee necklace. Let me show the little tag right there. There we go. That says Cookie Lee on it. Beautiful colored beads on here. That nice little orange, it is sparkly. So the orange ones are sparkly and then we've got that nice brown. So this necklace is, let's see. Well, that is, yeah, that's about a 16 inch. 
maybe a 17 inch. Ah, you might be able to get to 18 inches out of this one. So with fall coming up, this is great colors for fall. There you go. That's how it's going to, that's about the maximum right there. A little bit under your neck. And that one is, oops, I didn't highlight it. That one is $4. And that is a Cookie Lee necklace. Great colors for fall. And then that orange does have a little sparkle in there, like a little bit of glitter in there. So that one is $4. Okay, next necklace is going to start at $5. And this is a multi-strand necklace. Here, let me get this part up here. So it does have some lovely little pearl beads to it. Let me try to get that even. There we go. Some nice pearl beads. Again, this is a multi-strand necklace. And it goes all the way down to there. So when you're wearing this, let me see if I can get... Ah, there we go. So when you're wearing this, you're going to have this top one here right about at 16 inches. And then they go down from there. And you can see there is the longest one right there. So that is nice and long. There are one, two, three, four strands here. And that one is $5.00. For the multi strand pearl bead necklace. Very like 1920s flapper style with all of those strands together. Okay, the next one I have is, I think it's hematite and a bunch of other stones a lot of other stones uh this one's also going to start at five dollars so i'll just keep it there but this also is magnetic to itself so let me see so if i push all those together you can see that they are magnetic to themselves but if you're wearing it, which it does have a clasp, but you can also just fit it over your head. If you're wearing it, it just stays like that. If you want to put it together, like maybe you want it to kind of be a little, have that kind of a fit to it, you can because they're magnetic. But I'll start up here at the clasp. Oop, I lost the clasp. Oh, here's the, here it is. So here is the clasp, and I'll show you all of the variety of stones that are in here, a huge variety. And they've got those little silver ball spacers in between each one. And again, if you want to rework this and turn these into earrings or just a different style of necklace, there are a lot of stones for you to work with here. Yeah, really colorful, huge variety. Really huge variety of stones. And oh, there we're back at the clasp again. Thank you, Jan. So let me get a measurement other than it's really long. Uh, it is 32 inches, so 32 inches long, and it does feature, again, the hematite, which is magnetic. 
So you can, you know, kind of style it however you want to once it is on. If you want to, you know, take this little bottom, put a little twist in there, just match up those little hematites in there. And uh, then, yeah, you can get your own cute little design going in there. And we've got Lisa. Nope, we've got Amy at six. We've got Lisa at seven. But yeah, it's a beautiful variety of stones in here. Really fantastic. And yes, hello, Lisa. And then these ones right here are the hematites. And ooh, I just realized that one's got a nice little variety of colors on it. But yeah, just absolutely fantastic variety. And thank you, Amy is in at eight. Jan is in at nine. Nice natural shapes to the stones and just a huge variety. Lisa, oh no, Amy was first at 10. Hang on. Amy was first at 10. Oh, there's another one of those with the, oh, where did it go? Right there with that really cool variety and that one too. And Lisa is at 11. Thank you. Um, thank you, Amy. And thank you, Jan. They are out. So we will count this down for Lisa. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Lisa. Thank you. All right. I have got some more ties. So they are going to start at $5. This one is the Dalmatian. Now, he has an American flag on him, and his name is Rescue. I guess that's the <coughs> Fire Department, New York. His name is Rescue. And, oh, it looks like he is commemorative. Yep, so this one, originally, this one benefited the New York Police and Fire Department and Children's Benefit Fund. And thank you, Sherry, and hello, Sherry. So, yep, his name is Rescue. He is a Dalmatian, and he's got the American flag right there. He's got spots all over. And we've got Barb in at six. And he's got a little red collar on. We've got Jan at seven. Sherry at eight. He's got such cute little paws too. Barb is at nine. Sherry at 10. Yeah, he is pretty darn adorable. And Barb is out. Thank you, Barb. 
And we'll see if Jan would like to come in. Oh, Jan is out. Thank you, Jan. And we'll count this down for Sherry. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, then I have, let's see, he is going to start at five. We've got a red, white, and blue. I know 4th of July just passed, but again, I can't resist. This is Independence. He came out in 2006. And he is just so cute. He's got little blue on the bottom of his feet, little red, white, and blue bow tie. Oops, his little his little top hat. We had Sherry at five and DM at six. Sherry at seven. He's even got a little blue nose. Jan at eight. He is just so cute. Sherry at nine. Jan at 10. DM is out. Thank you, DM. Sherry at 11. Yeah, his top hat's got a little something in it to help it stay nice and puffy, too. So it shouldn't get too floppy. And then his little tag down here says Independence. Jan is at 12. Sherry is out. Thank you, Sherry. And we'll count this down for Jan. Going once going twice and sold to jan thank you jan and thank you dm thank you sherry okay then i have an elephant Also going to start at five. He's also red, white, and blue. He is an elephant. He's got an American flag right here. With his feet, he's got one foot red, one foot blue, and his hands are the opposite. We've got Sherry in at five. And DM, DM, I see you also. Let's see. He is, he is righty. 20, 2004. And we've got, oh, we've got Sherry at seven, DM at eight. I know I can never keep those tracks track of those and um yeah if he's the if he's the republican then the was it the donkey is the democrat i can never remember um but i could not i couldn't find him i couldn't find him at all so i just have i just have the one not trying to play favorites <laughs> nothing like that <laughs> I just couldn't resist a really cute elephant with red, white, and blue on him. I thought he was awesome. <laughs> and 
and sherry is out and so we've got dm at eight all right <laughs> i know i can't ever keep track of which is which uh not that it matters because he's cute he's adorable and so I am counting this down for DM. Going once, going twice. And oh, there. Okay. And sold. That one is sold to DM. Thank you, DM. And thank you, Sherry. And I lost track. If anyone else had put in an offer. Thank you so much. Oops. Sorry, Joe. I just hit Joe with my elbow. Sorry, buddy. Okay. I've got one more red, white, and blue. And yeah, there's a sold. The sold is there. <laughs> All right, I've got one more red, white, and blue. And this time it is a rooster. Look how awesome he is. He is a rooster. Look at that red and white and blue with stars. Oh, okay. Well, I have, I see the sold right above your comment, DM. So, sorry, sometimes YouTube is glitching a little bit like that. Or StreamYard is, one or the other. But I did put the sold in. <laughs> I see it on my end. Let's see. So, this guy is named Homeland. And he is from 2006. 2006 Homeland. You don't see the sold? Well, it's there. <laughs> it is sold. <laughs> it is totally sold. <laughs> okay, so there's a glitch. There's a glitch between StreamYard and YouTube, but it, it still is sold. <laughs> and we've got Jan at 9. We've got Sherry at 10. But yeah, this is an awesome little rooster. His name is Homeland. So his name is Homeland. He's from 2006. Down here, it just says Homeland. We've got Sherry at 12. And Jan is out. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, isn't he just awesome? I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> And then he's got little red underneath his wings. And so I think we are counting down for Sherry. All right, let's see if it shows this time. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Jan. Okay, now I do have some more fabric. I have some more ties coming. I have some more um, necklaces coming. So let's do a little uh, fabric here. So this is another piece that is an odd piece, but definitely a project piece. It's going to be just $1, and I have multiple of these, okay? So it's a strip that is this long, which is, how long is that? That is about 17 inches, so about a 17-inch strip. So we've got stars, and then we have this really pretty fabric. Again, this fabric is great for projects. Then right in the center, we have Merry Christmas and a Santa. So a really nice panel. 
right there. And then more. And I don't know what this is. Hooves? I have no idea. Santa beards? I don't know. But again, something for crafting. So I have several of these. So again, if you've got small projects or you think you might have some small projects coming up for Christmas, I have got several of these strips. And so Jane, hi Jane, Jane is in. So Jane, let me know how many of these you would like because I've got a bunch of them. I don't know exactly how many. I don't know if I ever counted up how many, but I've got a bunch of them. So if you want more than one, let me know. But they're kind of cool and I could definitely see some kind of a project being made with these. And again, if anyone else is interested, I'm going to say at least 10, at least 10 of them. But if you're interested in a bunch of them, I'll make you a deal. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to say I have at least 10, if not even possibly more than that. Um, so if you're interested in a bunch of them, let me know and I will, I'll make you a good deal on them. All right. Jane for all. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a really neat piece and it's got some great designs on it. Um, okay. This one I have shown before, but I want to give it one more chance just because it's a really neat piece before I tuck it away for Christmas. It's going to start at $5. And it is a Santa card holder. It's even, even team no craft friendly. <laughs> so you're going to end up with this little Santa here. And from what I can tell, his little pockets right here and his little um, heart that he has in his hand right here, that is where you tuck in the cards, your Christmas cards, to show them off. So it comes with the instructions. Here is the heart. So it's like a heart pocket. And then you can see here is Santa. So Santa is, is long. Like you want to hang Santa maybe on a door or on a really large wall. And then here are the little pockets for his jacket. So he comes with the base design and then you add the little pockets onto it and then the little heart pocket onto it. And that's where you show off the, um, the Christmas cards. So he's really cute, but I want to give him one more shot before I put him away for Christmas. So he's just $5 and he is a card holder. And Sherry is going to take him. Yay! Let me get that folded up a little bit here. All right. Thank you, Sherry. And... Yep, just for just for the records. We'll see if it shows. I can hear the contractors are here. I don't think they're not like here here, but I can hear them like um, probably cutting drywall outside. And that is sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, I've got a um, a three yard piece of fabric. This is going to start at $12. <laughs> Joe is like on stealth mode, like slowly creeping across the table because he can hear it too. It's like, Joe, you're probably going to want to just go upstairs. 
<laughs> All right. So there are three yards here. And I'm going to show you the design. So it is called Toys Something Toys. Um, yeah, Something Toys. I'm trying to make sure I'm not upside down. So here we've got little stars. We've got some toys, a plaid. We've got some more toys. And these are just big, long strips across. So almost like little border sections. If you wanted to use that as parts of this as a border. So then we've got little houses. We've got little bears, rocking horses, and then like a little banner. So there's three yards of this fabric and it's all little Christmas toys. And Jane is in for 12. Thank you, Jane. But isn't that just cute? Very nostalgic looking with all the fun little toys. All right, so we will count that down for Jane. Let me get my, there we go. Going once, going twice, and sold to Jane. Thank you, Jane. Let's see. Move that over. That there. Okay. Um, a little more jewelry, couple more pieces, uh, necklaces. Uh, this one is going to start at $5 and it is a multi strand black and gold necklace. Let me get the strands up here. So it does have a hook here. There we go. So we've got a hook and it goes right onto the back here. I wonder if maybe there was something else here that this hooked on, but it does hook onto, I just had it on there, um, but it does hook onto the back here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, five strands of beads on each side. So nice variety of beads. There are sea beads and then some other beads mixed in. You can see there's some gold mixed in there also. Little flowers. Looks like even some little hearts. And I'll get you a total length measurement on this one. Oops. Make it. There we go. So this is 28 inches long altogether. And if you're wearing this, There, it's going to be that long. So that is 28 inches. And Sherry is in. Thank you, Sherry. And we'll count this down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. All right. Now, my next item, I know I just had this stone recently. I know it starts with an H. Oh, and I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, but this one is a pendant necklace that has... I, I, 
think it has three, but I don't know where this one, I don't know if this one is supposed to go back here or if this one is supposed to go up here. So I'm just going to put it up there. So it's on a cord. It's on an adjustable cord here. And we've got this really big white marbled stone. Oh, and I know it starts with an H, but I just, I, I didn't have a chance to finish that thought. And then there is this beautiful one, which is like a gray and black marbled, which is the same as this one. Now these are big. Uh, so it's a little deceptive when I have them up close, but that white one is over, just over. How light. Yes. How light. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, that white one is how light. And it is just a little over two inches in diameter. And so this one. See if I can get that on over my bun. But yeah, that is a little over two inches in diameter. So that's a great size. Hello, Joe. Hi, buddy. So yeah, it's on an adjustable cord. You can take it off and put it on any kind of chain or different cord you would like. But I'll show you both sides of that one. And then here is the back of the Howlite. This one has like a little bit of blue in it. I know he's he can hear the contractors outside, so he's freaking out a little bit. <laughs> so that one is $8. And then the, the last necklace I have. So this is a really long strand. Um, this strand has a lot of weight to it. So if you're familiar with costume jewelry, you know, the heavier beads and stuff are, um, you know, the quality goes up. Now, these are not all the same color. There's very slight color differentials with that. Very, very slight but I'm going to do my best to measure this because it is super long. It's going to start at $8, but I want you to know there's some weight to this. Now I'm not good at telling real pearls from fake pearls. Um, not at all. Let's see. Now if I do, if I do it double, let's see if I can get a good measurement on here. This one is okay. So that is 35, so it's right in between 17 and 18 inches. So that's 35 plus two. So that's a 70 inch necklace. That is 70 inches. And this has some weight, like some serious weight to it. But I'm not gonna say it's anything other than a beautiful necklace. But it's cool. And again, if you like layers, look at that. That is double strand right there. You could easily triple strand that. And hello, N. Murphy. But I'm going to get in here close so you can see these. And they're beautiful. But my ring light probably isn't going to show. But there are very, very slight color um, differences between all of these. And you might be able to see some of the differences, but you might not. It's, you, I really had to get under some like very, very bright light. Hi, Apple. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So there is just some very Slight color differences. Yeah, they are knotted right in between them. So yeah, it's a beautiful strand. And N. Murphy is out and we've got Sherry at 19. And again, this is 70 inches long. So that is a lot of fun. And we're going to count that down for Sherry.
going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you. And thank you, N. Murphy. All right, so we are going to do, let's see, we're going to do some more ties here. And we're going to start at $5. And I've got a little chihuahua. His name is Punchline. And he's got a joke. So he's from 2006, and it says, I'm funnier than all the rest. I just love saying things in jest. Uh, what's my best joke? You will agree. I'm really a great Dane, you see. I think that's what every Chihuahua thinks, that they are a great Dane. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Sherry is in now. You're going to see this. I can see this as blue on my screen. It's purple. He's really in Mardi Gras colors. So he is in gold and green and purple. And I know it's coming across as blue. Sometimes it does come across as blue, but it's really purple. So, um, so yeah, I have a feeling he, he kind of is for Mardi Gras even though it doesn't say he's definitely Mardi Gras colors. Hi, Helen. So yeah, so it's purple and gold and then with the green accents. And I've got Sherry in for five. So we'll go ahead and count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, then we've got an aviator bear. So he's more of the traditional tie bear. He's got his little scarf on as aviators used to, his little goggles. And he is the Bear Run 2003. Always makes me think of Snoopy going after the Red Baron. 100 years of flight. So he commemorates that. 100 years of flight. His name is Baron. Hi, Donna. So Donna is in at five. I know, isn't that a cute little play on words? But he's got a great little hat on. And his little aviator goggles. And his scarf so it can blow in the wind. Yeah, just like Snoopy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got Donna in for five. Five. We're going to go ahead and count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Donna. Thank you, Donna. Oh, hi, TD Bear. Well, I've got, I've got a couple more bears coming up, but I'm going to do a kitty first. So this is a cat. It's going to start at $5. And this one is really different. This has got some beautiful long hair. So it's done. It's, it's almost like a cross between super dark brown and black. But here is, oops, kitty's whiskers. Uh-oh, come here, kitty. Let's get your whiskers <laughs> straightened out. There, that's a little better. 
We've got Sherry in for five. So this one's name is Eris. It's from 2004. Eris, super long tail and really soft. Really, really soft. Got a little pink bow, pink nose. It is very similar to Joe, isn't it? <laughs> little pink around the ears. We've got Jane in at six. But yeah, they are just a little brown. So that makes me think that this is really, really, really dark brown, but not, all, not necessarily black, which I know is really hard to tell. And we've got Sherry at seven. But yeah, I really like this one and the beautiful fur on it. That is amazing. Yep. Well, what's interesting is, is like Joe being technically like all black, he's actually not black. When you get him into the sunlight and the sunlight shines on him, you can see it's brown. We just look at it and think black cat, but it's he's really just super, super, super dark brown. <laughs> We've got Jane at eight. And there's the cute little kitty eyes. Sherry at nine. And then a little bit of pink on the paws. And then a really long tail. Really, really long. And Jane is out. Thank you, Jane. And we'll count this down for Sherry. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, now I've got a bear coming up. This one is a hula bear. Look how cute she is. Or he, I guess he's not wearing a top. So maybe, or maybe that's a top. It looks like a lay. Uh, let's see. This one is, oh, Alana from 2006. 2006 Alana with a beautiful lay. Goes all the way around. And a little grass skirt. And we've got Sherry in for five. I know, isn't this just adorable? Oh, and a little flower right here. A little flower right up there. Super cute. There, we'll get all the little, there, get all the little parts out there. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm kind of a little confused, boy or girl. Maybe the lay is just positioned just right. <laughs> and <laughs> I know she's got she's got the couple little flowers there that are are covering up. I don't know. <laughs> I will count this down for Sherry. <laughs> oh, going once. Or maybe it's just that kind of a beach <laughs> going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, then we've got a little brown bear. He's going to start at $5. And he's got a beautiful little flower. His name is Bloomfield. He's from 2005. And he is a very soft little bear. And he's got his lovely little flower right there. 
<laughs> find some tiny coconuts. <laughs> Here is his back. And he does have his little tag here, Bloomfield. All right. Well, I don't see any takers for the cute little bear, Bloomfield. Oh, TD Bear is in. Thank you. <laughs> I know. He is adorable. He is so cute. All right. Well, I am going to count this down. Oh, going once. Going twice. And sold. Thank you, TD Bear. Uh, let's see. Put that there. All right, I've got one more tie, and he's going to start at $5, and he also has little flowers, isn't he cute, and a little butterfly up here, a little butterfly, a little like terry cloth, very soft, ooh, <coughs> those are like chenille soft. Let's see. His name is Rain. He's from 2006. And his name is Rain. And we've got Sherry or her name. It could be her name. We've got a pretty little butterfly. That is like a little felt. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Felt butterfly and little terry cloth or chenille uh, flowers. And we've got Sherry in at five. And he does have his little tag down here also. And we've got Jan in at six. Sherry at seven. Jan at eight. I'm going to grab a sip of water. All right. And I do have a few more fabrics to go through also. And then we will do the speed round. We've got Sherry at nine. <coughs> mm. Darn tickle. Yep, and there are some leaves attached here also. Jan is at 10, so we've got two leaves here, one leaf down here, and Sherry is out. Thank you, Sherry. And we'll count that down for Jan. Going once, going twice, And sold to Jan. Thank you, Jan. Okay, so next piece of fabric. I'm going to start at $3. And let's see how many of these I have. One, two, three. I have four of these. Four of these panels. So here they are. They are full size panels. Each one has two designs, same two designs. The back has the same two designs. Actually, I think this is one piece of fabric. Yeah. So this is one piece of fabric that has been folded. It does have a border on it with little teacups, little teacups on the border. And then the scene here is a little, like a little cozy spot by the fireplace for your teacup, teapot. So this one has a green chair. Here, I'm going to 
Oh, I'm going to flip it over this way. Okay. And then this one has a gray chair. And thank you, Jane. Jane is in. So again, this is one piece of fabric folded, same design on each side. They're just reversed in order. And there is the inside of it. All right. So we'll count this down for Jane. And Jane, you can let me know if you would like one or if you would like more. I do have four of them available. Going once, going twice. And sold. So we've got Jane. And then, yeah, Jane, just let me know how many of those you would like. All of them. All right. Thank you, Jane. So times four. And then I have another uh, three yards of fabric. So this is going to start off at $12. And this one is called, oops, let's see, Teddy Toss Trucks. I don't know, unless we're tossing the teddies, but this is all of the little teddy bears, like the cherished teddies. And we've got the little red truck with the Christmas tree. We've got this one down here with the wreath with the dog. We've also got the little puppy here running beside the truck. We've got lots of little jingle bells on it. And it's like a little blue jean material. So it looks like denim for the background. But it looks like it's mostly just the teddy bear with the wreath and the truck and then the dogs the dogs on there but that's primarily so there's three yards of that fabric and that is twelve dollars for all three yards now if nobody wants all three yards and you want a smaller quantity just let me know i can cut that if you would like a smaller quantity Okay, and then the last one I have is also three yards, and this one is a flannel, and oh, Jane is in for the teddy bears, right? Jane in for the teddy bears? All right, so thank you, DM. Okay, so then the last one is a flannel. And it is um, moose. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to undo the, oh, I'm gonna have to rip the tape here. There we go. We gotta get this one open. So we can see all of this. Is this? Okay. This is the way it goes. So this is also three yards, $12 flannel with mousse. Hi, Leanne. And Jane is in. Isn't this just adorable? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I don't know if you can, let me find one. Oh, here. So we've got the moose and he's got like a little mouse on the sled. We've got the, oh, here we've got the little, like a, I guess it's a mouse building a birdhouse. But yeah, each one of these has got all these little, little critters in there and then oh and there he is with the snowman 
Oh, this is so cute. So cute. All right. So this is going, uh, counting this down for Jane. Going once. <clears throat> going twice. And sold to Jane. Thank you, Jane. Okay, so that was one time through everything. So I am going to do the speed round now. And we'll go through all the items still available. <clears throat> so for $4, I have the Easter uh, bracelet. This has a bunch of glass beads and a bunny. It's got the bunny on it. Glass beads. Number two. Number two for four dollars for the bracelet with the Millefiori beads. You can see there's several of these Millefiori beads and glass beads. That's another. Oops, where did it go? Right there. And that is, oh, that is for Sharon. Hi, Sharon. <clears throat> okay, then I have the kind of strange fabric. This again, for crafters. This is for crafters. This is $4. I have several of these. Um, it is originally for a top for a girl. Nobody's going to make the top, but if you are a crafter and you've got small projects, this is some outstanding fabric. And this is just $4 for the panel. And you get some awesome fabric here. Again, nobody's making the top, but think about this. Let me know if you are interested you know a week from now a month from now um i have got small christmas print fabric fantastic for small projects and that was four dollars and oh number 11 number 11 if anyone's interested in that uh then i have the reindeer uh the last time i had this it, i had both of them i had the boy and the girl this time I just have the boy. It's seven dollars. Uh, I'm going to use letters from now on because then I got two. And then we're into double digits. So this will be letter A. Letter A. This is everything for creating a cute little reindeer. Seven dollars. Letter A for this one, and it's the whole kit, everything you need, and he's going to be plush because there are front and back to pieces, like two sets of antlers, um, eight sets of legs. Yeah, so he'll be plush. Um, and this one, we'll do letter B. Uh, this one was the, nope, this one. So this is a cherished Teddy's Christmas tree skirt. It's half of a Christmas tree skirt. It has the funky stitching down here where two bolts were connected, but this already is quilted. It has batting on it. If you want to do other projects with this, this is fantastic. $5 letter B. $5 letter B. And it is on the front and the back. And it's got these three little squares also. Again, it is all quilted and batted, ready to be turned into another project. Or you can use it as a Christmas tree skirt. Just know that it has the stitching on it. But that one is $5. Great to turn that into another project. Okay, then I have this. This is a nine inch bracelet or anklet, nine inches. This is gonna be letter C and it is $2. $2 for the nine inch bracelet or anklet. You can see the little beads have polka dots on them. 
And this is $2 letter C. Then I have the Cookie Lee, the Cookie Lee necklace. This is an 18 inch necklace. This is $4 letter D, $4 letter D. And Sharon is taking C. Thank you, Sharon. And so this one, Cookie Lee necklace, $4, letter D. And Sherry is taking D. Thank you, Sherry. Joe, I know, I know. Joe's panicking a little bit because I know. And the contractors are want to come in. So I'm really close to being done, guys. Really close to being done. Give me just another minute. <laughs> This is a now tangled multi-strand necklace. Darn it. I know they're ready to come in right now, but I told them 1030. <laughs> so here is the clasp. This is a multi-strand pearl bead necklace. This is $5 letter E. $5 letter E for the multi-strand pearl necklace. Uh, let's see what else. Is there anything else to show? Oh, the white stone, uh, which I've already forgotten the name of the stone and I forgot to write it down. Uh, so this will be letter F. It is $8 letter F. This is a big stone. This is a really big stone. It's over two inches. It's on a simple adjustable cord. That is $8 letter F. Howlite. I'm never going to remember it. Howlite. And then there's something in front of it. That one is really nice. And then there's this stone that sits on top there. So that's $8 letter F. And I think that is everything. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Appreciate you, um, you being with me today. And I am going to go let the contractors know, yes, you can come in and work here. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. I will probably see you uh, the later today on Kim sale at 430 Eastern and I think it's 4.30 Eastern and Jen sale later tonight at 5.30 Eastern. I think those are what's going on. So thank you, everyone. Take care. Have a great day. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.